it, it's a day I would imagine he's been looking forward to for a long time. So ever since his appointment, you know, he, as a typical manager, he'll want to get into his players. He'll want to be able to see how they uh, perform on the training ground. I would imagine today will be the usual, you know, early face-to-face -face meetings and uh, fitness and medical checkups. But uh, no doubt he'll be keeping a very close eye on potential transfer activity because whoever you talk to uh, about Manchester United at the moment, everybody is asking the same questions. When are the new players coming in? When are the new players coming in? How about the new manager coming in? Ladies and gentlemen, today, this is a day, I think, to start rubbing your hands together and to start getting excited. We've had a lot of frustration the last few weeks about everything that's been slow with Frankie de Jong and everything that's gone on there. It looks like we're getting de Jong in this week. And Eric Ten Hag, he is at Carrington. He has arrived this morning, 8 a.m. sharp, two hours before all the players turned up. But what are his pre-season training plans? What I'm going to do in this video is run through everything that we've seen reported, everything that we know so far, and also take a look at an Ajax training drill video because it might give a bit of insight into what we can expect. But I think now is the time that we can start getting excited. Eric Ten Hag has arrived, of course. Steve McLaren, he is there too. Mitchell van der Gag, I'm sure, is at the training ground as well. But we've been waiting some time for this, haven't we? And now we can start talking about it. Of course, the full squad's not going to be there for preseason as it begins. This is a list of the senior players who will be there. You've got De Gea Henderson. I wouldn't be surprised if he actually... Um, well, he's going to not to come forest, so I don't think he'll be there for that, for that long. Juan Bissaka, Lindelof, Bay Jones, Twanzeve, Williams, and Shaw. There's still players there that you're thinking, are they going to be here at the start of the season? You don't know. Van der Beek and Ahmad, Sancho, Martial and Rashford. There are some senior first team players there. There's still quite a lot of players that I don't particularly expect to, to see at the start of the season. Twanzeve, I don't think, will be here. Dean Henderson, uh, Phil Jones, hopefully. Bay, I don't think, should be here either. But there's 15 players there, and no doubt there'll be academy players as well. But in terms of what we know going into this preseason, we go back to rewind to May to what James Ducker was reporting. We all know that this preseason, such a big preseason for Manchester United, we've got to use it as a fitness boot camp. Eric Ten Hag is a very intense system, and we know that. This is what Simon Mullick from the, from the Mirror is saying about the preseason plans and what he expects to do straight away. Saying the new Manchester United boss has ordered staff at the club's Carrington training ground to trim the grass to 15 millimeters so that the players can get used to the demands for slick passing. Now, you might say that that's a weird thing, Sam. That's not probably true. But I'll run through a separate article in about a minute or two from an ex-player who confirmed the exact same thing. That's what he did at Go Ahead Eagles as well. That was a very Ten Hag thing to do. Uh, tests will obviously include fitness tests before the real work moves up to regular double sessions. This is going to be it's going to be a tough preseason for these players. These players have just been enjoying themselves, enjoying themselves for a long time. No one's going to make us do hard work. If they want to make us do hard work, we just won't do it anyway. Not anymore, man. It's a new regime, a new system, and brand new demands on these players. And we go down here, and this, this, this I found quite interesting. Instead, Ten Hag will put his players through their paces with passing drills and exercises with the ball that will improve their stamina as they work on their technique. Because it's all good and, and well being fit as hell. <laughs> but if you're crap at football, it means nothing. You need to com combine and blend both of those things. Now, this video here I found quite interesting. This is an old Ajax training drill. And if you take a look at what's going on here, the players with the slick on, on the ground, on the ground movement, one touch football, quick triangles. That's Anthony, I think, moving there. Edson Alvarez as well. This is not the sort of football that Manchester United have played for a long, long time. No doubt we would have done some of that in training before. But that's going to be a system that really he implements and he brings in. Now, this article here I want to run through because, again, this is all about bringing insight into how Eric Ten Hag will be training these players. Now, this is from a former player. Was it, what's his name? Marnix. Uh, he played with him at Go Ahead. Marnix Calder played with him at Go Ahead Eagles. And he was asked for an in-depth interview back in May about Eric Ten Hag, his training sessions. What's he like to work as, to work under? And this will give us a bit of insight into what these Man United players can expect this week. He's saying look, he was a very serious trainer. He knew how he wanted it, but he wanted it to keep control of everything. Always wanted to be in control. Even if we had to do runs in the woods, this is a separate person who's sort of recording this story, to show him he, we were fit, we try and run it in 150. He said, no, if I say two minutes, not 210, not 150, 
it is two minutes. He is literally known as a man who is extremely meticulous. He knows what he wants and he wants and expects all his players to do it. But he does it with a purpose. It's not training for training's sake with Eric Ten Hag. So look, behind every training session, there was an idea. He makes every player better. Tactical, physical. Eric left nothing to chance. He was prepared for every opponent down to the last detail. Every morning, he'd go on the pitch to see if the grass was high enough. Again, as I said, this idea, you might just laugh at the idea that Eric Ten Hag is going in there and saying, and, and telling the ground staff, say, look, make sure you go and cut that grass to the right height. But if he wants to implement a certain style of football, everything has to be done particular to a certain detail. And I found this part really quite fascinating from that previous interview. And I'd like to see United doing this. Jeez. Yeah, he was talking about the, the shadow sessions that happen when it's 11 on, uh, against zero, taking up one half of the pitch. The team just working on discipline and shape and organisation rather than playing football too much. And that he's saying, that, look, it was very boring. He want us to focus and, and try every time again and again and again. But slowly, after many hours, the rotations and repetitions became almost automatic. When I had the ball, Marnix called, they knew exactly what to do. The left forward would know what to do. After a couple of months, we already knew. Oh, yeah, this is why we did this. We, we'd see the way Eric wants us to play and play like that. And that's the thing that Eric Ten Hag, the Mitchell van der Gag, that Steve McLaren have to get in. It's all about these training drills. The whole, the whole concept of training is you do things a hundred times, a thousand times, and it becomes second nature. And by the time you need to do that in a match environment, you don't have to think about it. Your body, your muscle memory, it just does it. You've trained yourself to be able to do it almost subconsciously. Now, I'm going to be interested to see how Ten Hag, how Van der Gag, and how McLaren work together as a unit. Ten Hag is a very hands-on coach. He will be involved in the sessions. But I'll be interested to know how they split that, how they split the responsibilities. Because this squad, man, let's be honest, this is just a random training picture. It's not me isolating Ronaldo. I'm not going to isolate Ronaldo or Bruno as bad trainers. But it's clear that on the pitch, off the pitch, everything to do with the football just hasn't been good enough at Manchester United for some time now. And that we need a trainer like Eric Ten Hag to come in and train these players. We've, we're hearing reports that he likes to train the brain, which might give you a little bit yeah. PTSD about Louis van Gaal because that was something that he loved to say. But that is something that United need. We need to be better. We need to be just more intellectual footballers. We really do. But Eric Ten Hag, he's arrived there today 8 a.m., wasting no time in the same way that he wasted no time by taking up Manchester United's role and working on it the day after he won the title with Ajax. Today here, he's turned up two hours before any of the players are expected to turn up. He will be having these meetings. He will be having his first impressions of working with these players. As I said, there's going to be 15 senior players there joining him today. I don't think all 15 will be there, but it'll be interesting to see. I think we'll probably get some pictures. I doubt there'll be any journalists that are allowed in. And I'll, I'm something I do, I do, I do wonder about this week is how much are we going to find out about it? Are the leaks going to come out of the training ground about what's going on, about how the training sessions have been? We hope not. I hope not. I hope we just have to sit there, just look at the official photos, and just enjoy it. I don't really want to hear too much about it. But as James Ducker explained earlier in May, look. This preseason, man, it's going to be, you know, they talk about preseason with players throwing up on the side of the pitch, doing double bleep tests, doing double training sessions. That sort of work pays off when the season kicks off, even if the players don't like doing it. But sorry, I don't care what the players want now. I want what Eric Ten Hag wants, even if that's 15 millimeter grass. Good. Get that slick passing in. As I said, look, looking at this video, you can, you can really see that this sort of style, it's simply not Manchester United. Quick triangles, one-touch football, high tempo, high intensity, good movement, and just good football. We haven't done that. We haven't been like that. It's not our style of play. It's really interesting to run through those interviews with Marnix Calder, uh, former players, to see how Eric Ten Hag works, to see how he works with Van der Gag. It'll be interesting, to see, as I say, to see where Steve McLaren fits into all of that. I hope you can speak to his son, Josh, get him on the podcast soon. But the training has started, man. It might not be those players there, and it might not be wearing an Ajax shirt anymore, but Eric Ten Hag finally now is at Manchester United, and the excitement can start to build. Let's see what happens over the next couple of weeks. Frankie De Jong, we should be getting him in before the preseason starts, baby. I can't wait to see those photos. I really can't. It really feels like a case of when and not if at this point, and if we don't sign De Jong at this point, wow, that would be spectacularly bad.
But Eric Ten Hag, he's arrived. The era has started. These are his preseason plans. He plans to work with the meetings. He plans to get this his real focus on technique on technique rather than just pure fitness. Ultimately, you need both at the same time. So no doubt there will be double tests. There will be double sessions. There will be double everything. And until these players learn his system and understand that style of football intuitively, without thinking, the double sessions won't stop. Ten Hag is a man who looks like a, a man on the mission. He really is a man on a mission. I can't wait to see what he does at Manchester United. But as I said, I think now that's time to get excited, man. Time to start thinking and looking forward properly. It's not just about speculation anymore. We've got our new manager in. Let's see what work and what magic he can work because he's got a lot on his plate if he's going to turn this club around that's for sure you let me know what you think how excited are you about what's coming next under eric ten harbour make sure you subscribe if you're new and i'll see you soon